Yo, what is up guys? Um, this is George Bob. I'm going to be showing you how you could set up groups. So I know we did a little bit of that on the last video. I'm going to show you how to import, export strings and snipe and what you could do with the great deals or and use the normal and destroy mode and other stuff like that. So this is the WoW interface, uh, TSM. You go over to TSM, make up your groups. Um, let's say if you make a transmog group and you see all this information right here. So you see all these items I have. You can actually get it from the TSM uh, to import from fat loots gold. You just go type in uh, TSM import fat loots, and usually he has he has a TSM two string and a TSM three string. The difference between a T the TSM two string and the TSM three string has uh, different item ID numbers. So you just basically copy copy all of this and go back to your World of Warcraft. And just go co copy and pasta, and it should put like all these other numbers, and you just press OK. But I've already done that already, so it's already up here, already ready to go. And once you make that, you make your groups, you do whatever prices you have. Um, I have it at 50, 350, and 150 average wild auction and DB auction market. Um, it's all personal preference, uh, depending on what your realm is. And also, I would recommend setting it up for a shopping operation, which is right here. You just go over to the drop down menu. I put at 750 gold, just the same thing as Fat Loot did in his video, which I also link down below. Um, what does that mean? You just go over to the Trade Scum Master, Trade Scum Master, and you notice that I could just do this. You select all, and I'll just I'll just pick uh, that group and just hopefully got something that's pretty good. And start a post scan. So whatever items I have right now that is a pretty good transmog, I could try to sell it for this much. And because I already have set up the macro for a, a control and scroll wheel, so you actually see the and you can actually edit the price if you want. Um, you just boop boop boop. There you go. Even though some of the items will not sell for this much, but that's how much the price is. The normal price is. And if you want to go over to the shopping, just go over to the shopping and let's say go up here. There's going to be options where it says normal destroy mode, save searches, which is going to keep track of what you've been uh, saving. And if you want to like, oh, if you want to put on your favorites, just right click, right click. And you'd be like, oh, I want to look at Monstrous. Oh, I want to look up Pierre or et cetera, et cetera. So we're talking about going back to the normal mode. Normal mode is like, let's say, if you're looking up for hypnotic dust. Okay, that's how much it is raw. But let's say if you want to get more hypnotic dust by just deing some old gear. So you could just go uh, destroy mode, hypnotic dust. And it's going to pop up some greens, which you can actually, um, some of the greens could uh, give you about two to three hypnotic dust. And they go for very cheap compared to how much you could get the hypnotic dust for. So, and you get possibly one to two. And right there, if you see um, the tooltip, it gives you all this information. You actually could slim it down to only show up your realm, your global, or just uh, whatever. Um, because I'm an enchanter, I think that's how it shows you what the disenchant value for each item or what it could disenchant into. I'm not sure for that. It shows that up on other tunes. So you go over there. Um, what else uh, TSM2 has? They have save searches, the TSM groups, which we were checking out earlier. So it's a uh, deselect all, deselect all, and just type in, not type in, just xmog5000 plus. And it's going to take about a minute or so. It's going to look up the whole auction house. Even though I have the TSM desktop application, TSM2 is a little bit slower than TSM3. Um, it's going to take a while. It's going to prepare the filters. It's going to look up the pages and all that stuff. So it's actually, well, I was going to say it, we, we can actually stop it, but it's actually going. <laughs> well, well, we'll just, we'll just stop. I'm, I'm very, I'm very impatient person. So let's say we're looking at for items called like the dark moon fair and I put it at a 5G uh, and whatever items, well, well, I should go back into that. So you can find the Dark Moon Fair stuff. Um, I put it at 5G, so it's going to be a little bit more than it should be. You actually do like a region market, all that stuff. Um, how do you get to that part? Go over here. Go to your auctioning. Go to your shopping. 
and where I put my Dark Moon Fair, go to the shopping tab and make it operation. I put at 5G minimum or 5G maximum auction price and I put auction price above max price. So that's what I do. And it's going to show up all the items that's above the, um, the price you put. Uh, for TSM sniping, what you go is the right there. Um, if you go, on, it's on TSM two. On TSM three, it's going to be a little bit different. They move the modules around. So right here, you go to module and operation. Go to shopping. Then you put whatever you want. You know, like let's say I put what a uh, fifty percent average wild auction region market to be to be global market. And you go to the auction house. Go over to where it says uh, other. And it should be start uh, start sniper, and usually it's gonna scan up the auction house to see what you could actually get for lower than um, fifty or above fifty percent uh, market value. And usually start uh, snipers, you might get lucky and get like a yourself a death charge amount for like fifty five gold. Um, I know like one or two people that got that they got lucky and got that. Uh, so let's start with the sniper. Uh, disenchant search is basically. It just scans up the auction house and you can make more gold by just dis disenchanting it. Disenchanting the items. Which is going to take a little bit of a long time. Uh, vendor search, what does that do? It finds up the stuff that it is going on the auction house cheaper than vendor price. And another thing we could actually talk about is for you to find some strings and stuff, go over to either the Uh, where is it? DSM. Oh yeah, um, Stormspire. <clears throat> Stormspire has some good ones. Um, Elvine has some good ones. Reddit has some good ones. And if you want to like type in like let's say glyph DSM strings, import strings, and it should pop up like a bunch of these uh, websites like Elvine. Uh, Stormspire, and I believe uh, TSM has their own uh, groups, like very good groups. And also, this is a called the Trace Master Great Deal. It's uh, set it up with whatever server you're on after you made your account. You don't actually need to make your account. You just put a, what a realms you are, and you see this items cost about like symbolic. It's a uh, 200 gold, but you guys should try to flip it for about 2,000 gold. So, do you need to actually make a group for that? No. You scroll down below and see where it says export deals. You just copy that, copy, then go over to your auction house. Go over to your auction house and just basically pasta. And with the TSM2, you just let it search for like five or five to six seconds, or it's actually going fast right now. You just boom, 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 and you actually see what are the prices that you can do this. And see what items and you actually go look back into the website to see is it actually really worth it or is it really not like this dark wee britches are going for about five gold but it actually could run get you about 325 um if you have any questions about yes i know i, I kind of went fast but if you have any questions you could watch me on stream i usually go over this uh for tsm2 or tsm3 and also, another thing while we're in here is the quick post. So on TSM2, on TSM3, it, if you don't have any groups, it already sets it up as a group and it does their own algorithm. But with TSM2, it's a little bit different where it has this like um, drop down menu onto the right side. So you're just like, okay, let's say if you want to uh, sell this, it's going to scan on the auction house and it's going to be like, oh, post. But if you want to be lazy, you just go, I want to post this and just put, you just hold shift and left click, hold shift and left click, hold shift and left click. It's already going to be on the auction house. So you see my items already up on the auction house because I just control shift click. I mean, shift left click. So if you guys have any questions or anything, just uh, write down in the comments and or watch me on Twitch. I'll be on this Friday night and Saturday. I'll, I'll be on this weekend, so I know it seems I'm like pretty going fast. I'll link you to other uh, TSM videos or other people that have 
uh, TSM videos about shopping, groups, and other stuff. Alright guys, have a nice day.